Hello, my name is Jose Barriga and welcome to the next video on a conversion of a Nissan Sentra 2004 to an electric vehicle. Um, it's been about six months since I did the last video, I'm sorry about that, but I've been busy with many projects. Uh, and, uh, and anyway, um, it's been 13 months that I've been using the electric car and I've been driving roughly almost 6,000 miles or 9,000 kilometers more or less, a little less than that um, and very happy I uh, just have one problem since then which I'm going to mention in a little while um, but it, it's been great for me I really like to drive this car and I want to uh, use this video to thank you all for your comments and your suggestions that you post in the YouTube videos and that you send me via email uh, I've used uh, several of those uh, uh, tips and suggestions and I really want to thank you all for your contribution they really are very useful um, anyway the range is still decreasing it's now about 30 miles per charge which is a little disappointing because I was hoping that these batteries would last a little longer um, according to some uh, manufacturers and sites that sell electric vehicle parts they claim that the batteries let us batteries of 6 volts would last for about 20,000 miles I'm not sure if these batteries are going to make it but also my guess is that these uh, batteries are just low in quality uh, do you remember those the original caps that were leaking all over the place and I had to replace with these caps and I had to buy the watering system the remote watering system my main idea was to stop the leaks of acid from getting out of the battery and what I did is I just basically have this now the, the uh, connections these connections are for remote watering system so you have to plug plug my uh, connection and push a little valve I'll show you in the rear batteries how to do that but this also much mo makes life much easier when it's time to water the batteries um, but that stopped an additional problem I was having I was having a, a fall to ground issue and when I replaced the caps I realized that the acid that was leaking was causing the leak to ground fault and that was the reason so I don't have that problem now um, what else oh, well I have now the remote watering system in all the uh, batteries I'll show you the uh, batteries in the back in a little while uh, the bearing that goes into the clutch has been also replaced which is what I was working on the last time we worked it doesn't make any noise now it's been working really great uh, it's not as making squeaking noises now uh, what else I've been working on uh, replace the lights of the car with xenon lights those are consume less voltage uh, less uh, current so they've been helping too that was a suggestion from somebody which was great um, I did some um, oh I bought new tires because it passed the time that I was testing that the car was going to be good for a while so I just got new tires those weren't the old ones were not that good um, I also got some magnets and side signs I, I got this in eBay uh, electric edition so that, that helps uh, let me get the, the light to see if I can show you better. Sorry about the inside filming, but it's freezing today, which is strange for Florida, but it's freezing. So this I got from eBay. Um, I also got this done. Uh, I, most of the time I just drive without this. Anyway, I don't use this too much anymore because it looks like I'm selling something. But this got a lot of attention. I got uh, ask about a lot with those signs and I have the uh, a sticker now on the back I think that looks okay uh, I want to show you here the uh, watering system that I built uh, I, I installed here so basically where's my, where's my pump? oh here it is so basically this is what I use now uh, all I have to do is really plug it in here and squish, squish and it will fill up all the batteries really fast 
and with these new caps I don't have any more leaks anymore so this is working much better these days um, okay what else did I do um, I got a heater it's not very cold in Florida but it is sometimes so what I do is I got one of these and it's amazingly efficient uh, it's, it's shockingly efficient this uh, this is a 12 volt heater and it can heat the whole car it's, it's shocking I'm, I'm surprised with these little guys and that's all I need for heater really and I just put it in here when I need it there's a support right there so it just clips in there there plug it into the uh, cigarette lighter and it works really great uh, I'm, I'm really happy with that shockingly I didn't think that something so small was going to be able to uh, do such a good heating of the inside of the car with using, by using so little power um, I um, have another issue the issue that I mentioned that I was having that I want to talk to you about and let me put this away the issue that I was going to talk to you about that I had is I was driving the other day and then suddenly I lost the brakes which is a big deal in an electric car you don't have anything else to help you when you lose the brake in an electric car and that's because uh, there's no possibility to brake with the engine and your only choice is to use the handbrake uh, which is what I did and I was able to stop but the problem was that uh, the fuse of the vacuum pump blew and I found myself without a brake um, the problem is that I need to have a vacuum canister which this will help store more vacuum and have a few more brakes before you lose completely the brakes the problem was just the fuse I mean the fuse was really low was 5 amps fuse and that's probably why should have at least a 15 amps fuse so but uh, to think that so much depends on a little three two dollars fuse uh, your safety and everything it's shocking and it helped that I was not going downhill or uphill because probably I wouldn't have been able to stop the car I was uh, in a uh, flat place and I, w I had time to brake with the handbrake but it's, if you think about it in an electric car all that you have to stop your car is the vacuum pump and the little fuse so I think that I need more um, I need to improve the braking system with this canister I will be able to do that I store more vacuum and also I got this uh, gauge that will uh, check on the vacuum that I'm having on the braking system this particular model has an alarm for low pressure so it, this will let me know if I ever have a failure with the brake before it's too late so this this is what I'm working on uh, um, finally what I'm working on is um, uh, what is this the air conditioning this is what I was having problems with the last time we wish I show you in the video so I've had the the hoses installed. I had the uh, let me show you the lights. I have this um, pump installed. I had the hoses done. I had the control installed here now, and I have my condenser here, the fan here, and it's working really great. The problem I was having is, is that this was blowing the fuses when I was accelerating and that was because of something called ripple current so basically what these controllers need because they don't have one they need uh, they need um, an inductor and a rectifying diode which is here I hope you can see it let me show you which I'm going to store here you need one of these if it's not in the device itself and it's not in this one so um, now after I install that, it is working fine. I contacted the uh, I contacted the uh, manufacturer, and they will consider adding those inductors in the controllers itself for future models. Now this is a place where 
water water well splash. So I just basically built a little box here. This is going to go here and cover cover the the controller, and the whole thing is covered by the bumper. So that's how I'm going to use it, and I hope it's going to work well. And uh, let me show you very quickly how this works. And I have air conditioning now. I've been driving for a little while. I still need to work on this, but I'll be able to show you. Uh, maybe we need light, right? Sorry about this, it's just it's too cold and I don't have too much time to take through the day. So basically, this is how the air conditioning works. And I'm going to fix the... Uh, I'm going to fix the... Uh, this uh, properly this is not a good work it's just gonna fix it properly so this is how I will start the air conditioning now As you can see it is started it's starting right now it takes a little while I can feel now the air conditioning coming through here and you can see it is working now and this will control the speed you see this control the speeds of the air conditioning which is going to go here this uh, in the original knob and well that's what I've been working on I hope to have air conditioning really soon. Um, uh, finally, I want to comment that I decided to build the uh, dashboard myself. I'm not try to keep fixing the dashboard that is uh, ready in the car. Uh, it turns out that this company, Glow Shift, they make very good indicators. So I'm just going to buy a speedometer and a an, 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 uh, tachometer. And that's what I'm going to use. I'm, I'm, I'm done trying to fix the original uh, indicators in the car. Uh, well, in the, in the next video, I'm going to show you also how I'm trying to implement a wireless router that connects to this. That will let me use my phone to monitor the voltage, the RPMs, the, the amperage. It's a really cool feature that these uh, controllers have that they can send information through the router. And with any wireless router, you can use your phone to monitor things. It is really cool. I'm working on that for next video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See you next time.